That's right, Linda. It's actually been in place since about the 1920s. It was originally intended to combat crimes by the Ku Klux Klan, but some think that banning the hoodies may be opening a door to bigger problems. They're a common closet find, the hoodie. I've been wearing hoodies ever since I was a little kid. Even Kevin Durant is a hoodie fan. Somebody is out running, uh, especially in this kind of weather um, where it's cold, drizzly. I mean, you might be inclined to wear your hoodie while you're at Lake Hefner. There are already laws in Oklahoma preventing hoodies during a crime. 21 OS 1301 has always made it a crime to wear uh, a hoodie or some sort of a disguise during the commission of a criminal offense. Now, a proposal for an amendment to that law could make it illegal to hide your identity in public. The fine for your fashion crime, $500. I think that this is an, a violation of an individual's right to choose what they want to wear as long as it doesn't, you know, violate the, the realm of, of public decency and, and moral values. And I think that this could be very problematic. Senator Don Barrington authored the amendment. He told us they want to help victims of robberies. Quote, Oklahoma businesses want state leaders to be responsive to their safety concerns, and this is one way we can provide protection. I think that the legislature is just trying to make Oklahoma a little bit safer, but in doing so, I think they just overreached a little bit. They might have personal issues for keeping them on. Maybe they're having a bad hair day, or maybe they have cancer and they're losing their hair. I mean, you just don't know why. I don't think that solution uh, will work. Uh, I just think that that will cause a little bit more tension within uh, uh, the community. Um, it probably will be a reason for cops to, uh, you know, mess with more people uh, wearing hoodies. Now, there will be exceptions to the proposed bill. You will be allowed to wear them if it's for weather purposes, religious purposes, or even Halloween. But some critics think it may be difficult to prove those intentions, whether good or bad. Of course, to check out the full text of the proposed amendment, you can check out our link at KFOR.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Leslie Rangel, News Channel 4.